Um, what are some of your first impressions of, of practicing with this team? And, and uh, I mean, you've watched them from the outside for years, but what, what have been your impressions of watching them play together and your integration into that? I mean, uh, a lot of things are just automatically. So let's say if some plays doesn't go through, the guys already knows what to do. They just flip around and play different kind of uh, move, different kind of action. So you can see the footprint. You know they've been together for 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 a long time, the coach and the main players. So you know it's just amazing to see the winning team, to be part of that, and see the culture what they have, which is like totally different. You know how they approach to the things. So you know happy to be here and to have that kind of experience for for now. Dario, what, what's it been like working with Deki and Ron Adams during practices? Uh, it's been great. You know, obviously Deki uh, coming from the similar uh, culture, you know, similar background uh, back from Europe. So, you know, his advice is every day is just like helping me a lot to be better, you know, try to improve my game, you know, step by step. Nothing's not going to happen like, you know, over the one night. So. Ron, you know, we know each other since I'm, I was like a kid, you know, what, 13, 14 year old, you know, so we were in the same camp in Barcelona, so we have like kind of history together. So it's been pleasure, obviously they know a lot and uh, working with them, you know, it's just a great opportunity to, for me to improve my game, yeah. Has working with him and kind of having that background made you feel more comfortable, maybe more at ease? Uh, let's say yes. Let's say yes. He knows, you know, what I was doing when I was a kid. How, how is the mindset of the guys coming from the Europe, from the part of Europe? Uh, then let's say the mindset of the people who grew up here. So it's different kind of mindset. He knows how to talk. He knows like what I've been through, you know. So it's kind of get easier to, to, to get kind of like along about the things what we do on the court. Uh, I think uh, on day one, Steph said that he noticed when working and playing with you that you could run a DHL and, and you didn't have to communicate it, you just knew to, to run it. Do you feel like instinctually you have the sort of right instincts to, to play with everyone? Do you feel like the chemistry is already there? Uh, I think yes, obviously, you know, it's just beginning, but uh, obviously, you know, in, in, in the time is gonna gonna show us, but I think like the old guys have like high IQ and sometimes it's just naturally, you know, the ball is going that way, you need to do that thing, you know, especially if you have like shooter like, like Steph, you know, you try to find the uh, plays uh, and the moves for him to get him open. So you're going to do everything on the court in that moment to get the step open. So kind of like having that my, uh, in my mindset, you know, kind of like helps me to uh, fit with the team. But obviously, you know, I have like my strength. You're gonna, I'm going to try to prove and try to find the space for me too. But like, you know, this is a high level IQ team, and which is like most important thing. We play fast, you know what I mean? I think it's just ball is going so fast. The moves, the actions, the cuts is like needs to be violent. So I think what we're doing right now, and I think like whole team is going to have like trouble to guard it, you know, obviously when is the time to play five on five and is the time to slow down, you know, get the ball to Steph, to Chris, uh, to play their own game, to play the pick and roll, we're going to do it. But I think the motion wise and how we move and how we play like team basketball is going to be big for us this season. I think what we're showing right now, I think we're doing pretty much good. So still a lot of things to improve and I think what we play to gather more is going to be easier for us. We're going to improve more that particular like team game, sharing the ball, set the screen, DHOs, you know, kind of just play on the fly, let's say like that. Dario, kind of piggybacking off that, obviously you're a really high IQ player. It's a high IQ team for a big, you're a great passer, playmaker. You've always had that feel. Has it been a seamless transition for you to kind of fit into how the Warriors play offensively? Because I know some guys, some new additions, they actually struggle to kind of acclimate to how the Warriors play uh, offensively. Yeah, uh, for me it was, you know, obviously I play against 
Golden State Warriors a couple times in these my years in the league, and I see how they play. Of course, they always go run deep in a, in a, in the playoffs. So you got the time to kind of watch them, to experience that. Obviously, during the summer, I was watching, you know, some kind of highlights, some kind of games, how they play, and I think, you know. This is the maybe best team for me to fit in, and uh, and what I think I'm doing right now, I think I'm doing great. You know, I think I'm doing good on a practice. Kind of try to fit in that, and I really like that kind of basketball. You know, when you have like five guys who are dangerous in every moment to to score the ball. You know, it gets easier for other guys. You know, it gets easier for for Steph. You know, and. If I score one three points, gonna you know sometimes people need to think about me, so it's gonna give more maybe a little bit space more for Steph and Clay and that kind of stuff. You know everybody needs to do their own job, and I think it should be like great season for us. You know, kind of on that note, you you already have one preseason game of the Warriors under your belt. What do you think about just the spacing you get as a four man in the system? It seems like when you caught that ball at the top of the key, you couldn't believe how wide open you were. Yeah, in that situation, I was like a little bit open, and I was just, I see the play before, I was open, I see like I'm going to be open probably again, so I need to shoot it. But the spacing one is different. You you have like five guys playing a perimeter. Sometimes you have like guards going on a low post, you know, and you try to do the split action. I think this is team have like so many options, so many different kind of players, but high IQ level players, so they can fit their own game in the system. So that's, I think, it's a biggest, biggest, biggest thing uh, for us. And the spacing, why obviously when you have like Clay and Steph, you know, it's gonna be a lot of space for other guys. So, you know, you just need to be ready in a certain moment. Corey, how did it feel to be back on the court? And just kind of how did that the back injury? Uh, how how that happen? Because is that kind of what held you out of the World Cup as well? Uh, yeah, uh, but. It felt great to be back on the court, uh, making good progress, uh, which I'm happy about. I uh, just got to continue to, to keep going. Uh, and yeah, uh, it happened, uh, kind of just tweaked it, really. Uh, you know, my hips got kind of tied and out of place, and then uh, I have to keep it running and whatnot. Just some certain movements, I can't tell you exactly which movements, you know, did it, but it just kind of spazzed up on me. Steve was talking about how even though you're still coming back to the court, how you've already had the kind of the veteran leadership, the mentorship for someone like Brandon, who kind of had one year in college. Now he's here with a team, veteran team like the Warriors, kind of like how you were with the Spurs too. You know, as you ingrain yourself here, what's that been like though too to also be a leader for someone like a Brandon Pajemski? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, he's having a, a great a great camp so far. Uh, he's doing really well, doing everything he's supposed to be doing plus more. Uh, and, you know, just kind of talking to him through my experience. Uh, you know, when I was with uh, uh, San Antonio, it's kind of similar to this program here right now. So I just trying to, whenever I see something, speak up. And likewise, if he's, you know, we have that open dialogue. If he sees something, he speaks up to me and we just talk about it. But uh, he's, had a, he's been having a great camp. When you were young in San Antonio, who was maybe your, your veteran, your leader also? Ah, it was a multitude of guys. <laughs> there was a veteran team, obviously Coach Pop, uh, I could ask him any time, but I mean, Tony Parker, he played my position. Uh, TJ Ford also played my position. Uh, Manu, Tim Duncan, there was a, there was a, a bunch of guys that I could go and, and get that uh, veteran leadership from. Uh, do you expect to play on Friday? Uh, whatever they tell me, I'm just... I'm just kind of just going day by day and you know, going through the process. So whatever they, you know, whenever I check off those boxes, then we'll figure it out. So. Corey, there's been a lot of talk about San Antonio already. I'm just wondering if you see any parallels between how the Warriors play offense, ball, player movement, uh, right. and how the, you know, beautiful game Spurs, that 2014 team. Play. Yeah, I think you just kind of said it. Uh, you kind of said it in terms of like the ball movement, uh, player movement, uh, the selfless basketball. That beautiful basketball that you talk about is, is similar to, to how they play here. Uh, and yeah, just completely selfless basketball. So that, those are parallels for sure. That, that system, has that helped this move be a bit more seamless with you getting in green with the guys out there? Also, like he kind of mentioned, being a leader, but then also kind of learning from the guys right. that's already been here. How has that been? Uh, it's been great, you know, uh, just 
sitting back right now, obviously, and watching guys, how they prepare, how they play, what, what they like to do from, you know, the sidelines right now. And just got to, you know, do my first practice today. But it's, you know, you could always learn. Uh, and it's, it's, it's been great so far. Uh, integrating myself into this into the system, but it, there's a lot of you know similarities to uh, the Spurs when I was you know younger playing for that team, and you know the, all the guys it should be easy to to play with them because all the guys here have you know high IQs, so m it makes it you know easier. What kind of stuff were you able to do in practice? What were you guys, what were you, what were you doing? Uh, just the drills that we did, uh, you know, just defensive drills that we did, uh, shooting drills, the, you know, 5 on old stuff, uh, all of that stuff that they had. Yeah, it's a full practice for me, so it was great. <laughs> As a veteran point guard yourself, is it still kind of wild to see uh, Steph Curry and Chris Paul on the same team right now? Y yeah, 100%. Uh, obviously, we know the battles over the years that have been happening between those two guys, and I'm very happy to have them on my team. Uh, obviously, two Hall of Fame point guards that are in my position, so I get to learn a lot from uh, every day, and I get to watch them work, which is the, you know, behind the scenes every day that, you know, you play people, and uh, you know, on the game-to-game -game basis, but, you know, getting up close and every day, you know, personal watch of them is, is, is incredible.